This morning, August 6th, God has indeed truly granted us the grace to come together to honor our flag. Two days ago, on August 4th, we celebrated the anniversary of the advent of the revolution of Burkina Faso, which saw the birth of the significant and important struggle for our true independence. On August 4th, 1984, Northern Burkina Faso was born with the flag that we have just raised, the coat of arms, the national anthem, everything was changed. It was a hope in order to be able to give new life to our beloved and cherished country, hopefully and ultimately to our nation. It was indeed actually, of course, on the eve of August 5th, which marks the proclamation of the independence that was granted to us in 1960. So I hope that we can work together and ensure that next year, at this same celebration, we are in the process of consolidating the true independence that we are fighting to acquire today. Everyone must get involved because independence is not given, it is seized. And it is this struggle that we are currently engaged in. For the past few weeks, I would say, there have been rumors of attempts to destabilize our country. And I think that indeed some local press outlets have also reported certain facts. So, as workers of the presidency, it is our duty to provide you with the correct information so that you can also inform others in return, and especially for your guidance and peace of mind in your work. For a long time, we have been monitoring a cell in a nearby country, which is directed by Western intelligence services, primarily aimed against our country, and operations are expected to mainly begin at the end of May. It was supposed to consist of an intense communication war against our country, which you have been following. In addition to that, there was supposed to be a cyber war as well. Our computer systems were to be attacked to create a blackout. In addition to that, there is indeed a subtle yet passive economic war that does not reveal its name, which we have also managed to contain. Several highly planned attacks on sensitive and strategic points have been carefully and meticulously organized. The other phase involved targeted assassinations that were also planned in a systematic manner and meticulously with precision. And then mass attacks are expected to take place within the FDS, but especially cowardly attacks that should occur in the cities and primarily target the citizen vigilance agents you know as YI. We have indeed followed the unfolding of their plan and the final assault should take place through a recruitment, if I may put it that way, of agents within our ranks. So, from the communication war to everything I have mentioned, we have tried to contain the situation. Some individuals have been arrested in this subversion, in the plan to attack about 10 members of the Defense and Security Forces, FDS, unfortunately, who were arrested along with proven accomplices linked to the terrorists who are different from those involved in the subversion. So these individuals were linked to the terrorists, providing them with the necessary information to carry out attacks. It is unfortunate that they are either Burkina base or personnel from the Defense and Security Forces, FDS, but that is the case. In addition to that, some media outlets reported that certain members of the Rapid Intervention Battalion, BIR, have been contacted this is true. You know that the BIR are at the forefront of the fight we are currently engaged in. Everything that has been approached has been reported to us and we are monitoring the situation. It is unfortunate to want to remain outside and manipulate soldiers inside to do what you want. It is an insult to the intelligence of our soldiers and everyone understands that. I believe that these officers who are manipulating are all outside and continue their work from abroad. It is not honorable for an officer to act this way. I believe that for more dignity, it would be better for them to return and carry out their projects themselves. And we are waiting for them. This is to let you know that we are monitoring the situation and we will continue to take action to always stay the course that we have set because it is a long-term struggle. These are events that will not be lacking. We disturb a lot of people, we know. Independence, as I told you, must be fought for. Therefore, these destabilization projects will always continue to exist. But we will fight against this because a revolution is always fought and we will not back down, no matter what. But a revolution also has guardians who uphold the revolution and you are part of it. 
Americans. There are people who have not been arrested so far who think they have been lucky. No, they are not lucky. We are monitoring them. So, all those involved in these projects are being invited to withdraw because we will not hesitate for a single moment to act as necessary for the interest of Burkina Faso. I hope they understand us and hear us. So here is the information I wanted to share with you. And may people remain calm. We will continue to evolve. We will take all necessary measures to ensure that Burkina Faso exists and is as we wish. <laughs> Noble Black News, where empowerment meets truth. Our mission is to uplift and empower the black community. We stand for truth, integrity, and representation. Our stories are your stories, told with pride and passion. Join us as we celebrate our heritage and our future. Together, we are stronger, louder, and more united. Noble Black News is your voice, your platform, your news. We bring you the stories that matter with integrity and heart. Our commitment is to the truth, no matter the cost. We highlight the achievements and struggles of our community. Every story we tell is a step towards empowerment. We are more than news. We are a movement. Join us in making a difference, one story at a time. Together, we can change the narrative. Noble Black News, empowering our community, one story at a time. <laughs>